We have the cantina band. They are audio animatronic and they actually play the cantina music. The collection consists of everything imaginable that was made for Star Wars, both licensed, fan-made, bootleg. This is a replica of the Rebel Blockade Carter in the original Star Wars to give fans an experience of being part of the movie. We have about 400,000 pieces, 15,000 items on display. The editor of the Guinness Book of World Records came here himself and said, this for sure is the world's largest collection. One of my favorite things about having a museum is being able to share it with fans from all over the world, watching their reactions as they come in and see various parts of the museum. Laughs and tears and oh my goodness. <laughs> I grew up loving science fiction, but Star Wars was something special. I saw it on the back lot of 20th Century Fox and got blown away. Years later, it became a career as I joined Lucasfilm and then started writing 18 books on Star Wars, and Star Wars became my life. So when people come into the museum, they are flanked by these shelves in the front that are loaded with all kinds of toys and figures and sculptures. My original Obi-Wan Kenobi figure that I bought in 1978 probably cost me a buck 79 at the time. The first one is always the favorite. We have everything from original art to three-dimensional pieces, helmets of Darth Vader and stormtroopers that have been painted by artists. We have a rather large Star Wars library that has books from all over the world. We're in the treasure room now, and in this case are some of my most valuable objects. The first four figures that were shipped to fans in early 1978, the vinyl Cape Jawa sealed on a mint unpunched card. So these are worth several thousand dollars in this kind of condition. And most importantly, the a prototype rocket firing Boba Fetts, which they could not send out to kids because of product safety issues. One of them went for auction recently for $185,000. The newest major edition of Rancho Obi-Wan, 20th Century Space Opera, a 15 foot by eight foot oil on canvas painting by Robert Xavier Burden, a San Francisco artist who painted his own Star Wars toys in this incredible mosaic of color and it's just so vivid, these things just pop right off the wall. Rancho Obi-Wan is about not only sharing the items, but sharing the stories behind how they were collected, what they are, where they came from, how they fit into the whole saga. And so we do tours on Saturdays. Um, people can look at RanchoObiWan.org and book a tour up to several months in advance. There's always something new to see at Rancho Obi-Wan. Kenner Products once said, Star Wars is forever. And for me personally, Star Wars is forever. It's been my passion for over 40 years and will continue to be.